Well, I, I try not to deal too much with hypotheticals like that. Um, I, yeah, look, there's a potential that this technology will create whole new models for how we create value and organize capability, especially with the concurrent rise of things like artificial intelligence. So if instead of Uber, you've got Suber, so a blockchain Uber, where a bunch of autonomous vehicles are using a native digital currency to transact and enter into contracts with each other and with fares, they don't need to have a profit motive in the same way that a company does. They can operate at a marginal cost of basically 0% margin. So there's no more money being made. So what does that mean for all the people that those companies employ? Well, they're probably out of business if they have a competitor that can operate at 0% profit margin. The counterpoint to that is that our, our rides have all gone down by 20 or 30 or 50 or 70 or 90%, and we can get around for a dollar a day. So what kind of utility and value does that create in the economy? So who knows? I mean, there are lots of positives and negatives. I think we're a long way off from a world of um, idle humanity not having anything to do. Um, <laughs> if anything, past technology revolutions have told us to be humble in making that prediction. This has happened a lot in the past, you know, going all the way back to the invention of the automated loom and the Luddites in England in the early 1800s. So we're still going strong. And I think that the future will hold uh, lots of surprises for us. Um, new business models, new ways of creating value, new ways of keeping people busy. And hopefully it's done in a way that's responsible. So we'll see.